Brook Indium Corporation's been doing some extensive testing on the effect of different process variables on voiding and QFNs, surface finishes. You've been testing those. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So our most recent work was with surface finishes, looking at the effect of surface finish on our QFN voiding. So when I do material comparisons, I always use test boards that have an OSP surface finish because that's the most common surface right. finish. In this case, we went back to our circuit board supplier and asked for the same test boards with different surface finishes because that question comes up all the time, oh, can I expect the same number if I'm using a different surface finish? So we chose to look at OSP as the benchmark. Then we also tested Enig and, uh, and Immersion Silver and Immersion Tin. And we also looked at fresh boards versus oxidized boards. So the oxidized boards I sent through the reflow oven twice before I added the solder paste and components and reflowed it. Because we all know that surface finishes are there to protect against oxidation with copper. And if you have oxidation, you're not gonna get very good solder joints. So um, to simulate that, I, I did the pre-oxidized boards. And we actually didn't see very much difference at all between the surface finishes. That's very surprising because normally common wisdom says that, for example, Enoch, uh, good old gold, doesn't, doesn't oxidize. So I would think you would see a marked difference between that and some of the other finishes. And we're always worried about degradation of OSP. And yet you saw virtually no difference. Very, very little difference, you're right. With the same material, if I averaged all of the components on all of the test boards, then looked at the specific results. The, res the average for each uh, surface finish didn't vary more than about 5% from the average of everything. So I didn't see a huge amount of differentiation and you assume that Enig is going to be the best, but that was not what I showed in my study. Very interesting. So this assumes, of course, that the board fabricator has their act together and there's no variances in their process with regard to plating or OSP application, things along those lines. Um, and it also assumes that uh, there's compliance with the packaging spec, the IPC 1621, in terms of how the boards are handled and shipped throughout. Assuming all those are done, surface finishes are done right, you found virtually no difference. I think that's central to the why we didn't have as much variation as we expected due to surface finish, because we have these anecdotal feelings uh, about different failures along the way with different surface finishes that may have been influenced by an improperly handled board or an improperly applied surface finish. And as long as the boards are stored properly and kept for moisture, then the surface finish should have very little effect on your QFN voiding. Brooke, I understand this information is contained in some papers that you've authored. Right, you can find all of my papers on indium.com.